When you start Word, a blank document opens in the Word program window. The blinking vertical line in the document window is the insertion point. It indicates where text appears as you type. The mouse pointer changes shape depending on where it is in the Word program window. You use pointers to move the insertion point or to select text to edit. When you place the mouse pointer over a button or some other element in the Word program window, a screen tip appears. A screen tip is a label that identifies the name of the button or feature, briefly describes its function, conveys any keyboard shortcut for the command, and includes a link to the associated help topics, if any. The title bar displays the name of the document and the name of the program. Until you give a new document a different name, its temporary name is Document 1. The left side of the title bar contains the Quick Access Toolbar, which includes buttons for saving a document and for undoing, redoing, and repeating a change. You can modify the Quick Access Toolbar to include the commands you use frequently. The Ribbon Display Options button, which you use to hide and show the ribbon, and tabs the resizing buttons, and the program close button. The file tab provides access to Backstage View where you manage files and information about them. Backstage View includes commands related to working with documents such as opening, printing, and saving a document. The file tab also provides access to your account and to the Word Options dialog box which is used to customize the way you use Word. The ribbon contains the word tabs. Each tab on the ribbon includes buttons for the commands related to editing and formatting documents. The commands are organized in groups. For example, the Home tab includes the clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, and editing groups. The document window displays the current document. You enter text and format your document in the document window. The rulers appear in the document window in the print layout view. The horizontal ruler displays left and right document margins as well as the tab settings and paragraph indents, if any, for the paragraph in which the insertion point is located. The vertical ruler displays the top and bottom document margins. The vertical and horizontal scroll bars are used to display different parts of the document in the document window. The scroll bars include scroll boxes and scroll arrows, which you use to scroll. The status bar displays the page number of the current page, the total number of pages and words in the document, and the status of spelling and grammar checking. It also includes the view buttons, the zoom slider, and the zoom level button. You can customize the status bar to display other information. The view buttons on the status bar allow you to display the document in read mode, print layout, or web layout view. The zoom slider and zoom level button provide quick ways to enlarge or decrease the size of the document in the document window, making it easy to zoom in on detail of the document or to view the layout of the document as a whole.